Here at Titans of CNC, we have millions of dollars worth of CNC machining equipment. And today, we're gonna go on the back end and I'm going to talk about our most important machine. The machine that if not taken care of, can shut down the entire shop. Hey, before I get started, I just wanna say, if you guys love the videos that we're throwing down, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. If you got any questions, please put it in the comments and we'll do our best to respond. So I thought today we'd take a minute and we'd actually talk compressors. In my shop right now, we're changing out our Kaiser compressors, which have been great for us for over 10 years. But now as we're adding machines and the compressor technology is rising, we've made a decision to bring in a Quincy rotary screw compressor. Freaking badass. Man. This compressor is amazing. And guess what? It's quiet. It's quiet, right? In changing out the air compressor, you have to be strategic because you're not going to have air. Therefore, your productivity is going to drop. In this particular case, since we're doing it ourselves and our piping is elaborate, I thought, you know what? Since I'm actually going with a few of my team members to North Carolina, to Shunks Technology Days, where I'm going to be speaking, and then to Canameto to check out one of their manufacturing plants, I thought, you know what? Let's actually shut the shop down for a couple days. Why not just put the cameras on so you guys can actually see not only the compressor that we chose but the type of airlines we also chose right because that's very important so this is pretty cool this is aluminum piping all right it doesn't rust it doesn't corrode it's super lightweight it's easy to install now what really made it easy is Quincy went ahead and gave us this kit by Airnet that has all the tools you need to install the piping the first we're gonna grab is the pipe cutter looks like such all right so you'll measure your pipe to size however long you need it you'll mark it and you'll go ahead and cut the pipe so you turn it around, tighten a little bit, turn it, pretty standard pipe cutter. Now after we cut it, we're gonna have to deburr it. We don't want any sharp edges to damage the O-rings that are inside these fittings. So this is the tool they gave us to help deburr the pipes, all right? You wanna do the outside and the inside. Here's the outside. Now they have a tool for the inside. I prefer personally, as any machinist probably would, to use a burr whip, right? A little more effective. And just like that, we're ready to go forward. Now we wanna make sure when you put them in these fittings that they go in far enough, right? That's the key to its sealing. It's gotta be seated against that pink O-ring in there. So these are some keys right here they give you. All you do is look up the size of your pipe. We're using one and a half inch pipe. We're gonna go ahead and put a mark. Slips right on like such. Put a mark. That lets me know how far the fitting has to go on. So here we have our pipe. Here we have our fitting. Now we're gonna put a little contact gel on there to help kind of glide past that O-ring, right? Wanna do whatever we can not to damage the O-ring. That's what's gonna seal the pipe. So we'll put a little on there, kind of go around the pipe. All right, so it just slides on, just like such. You guys can see, there's our mark right there. That's how you know the pipe went on all the way. Good to go to your next fitting. And there you go, there's our fixture. We got one and a half inch piping coming in, reduced to one inch into a ball valve, ready to go. It has been zero days since an accident in this workplace. So we have to go through, tear down the entire old system. So we got guys on the walls, tearing all that down, prepping everything. After we go ahead and do that, we gotta start measuring out the system. We go around, we find out where we're gonna need 90s, where we're gonna need 45s, basically kind of lay out where we're gonna put this pipe. After that, we sort of break down into teams. It was great. We had a couple of guys over there putting brackets on the wall to support the pipe. We had other guys that were cutting pipe and preparing the fixtures. And then we just started to put it up. As you guys saw earlier, it wasn't too bad. It just snaps right together. So we had Jeff on a scissor lift. Um, we were going around. You can see the machine right here. The pipe comes straight up and it goes out. It really was a smooth process. We were able to use the kit and the pipe and the guys really worked together in teams. It was super awesome. And really, essentially, we had five or six machinists and that's about all it took. You know, nobody here was professionals, but with a kit and some air piping, basically we were able to install a piping system for a 20,000 square foot facility. Dude, I am like in love with this thing. So literally machines are running like right over there. And uh, 
it's on right now. Mm -hmm. So most of the time it's like this. Yes, exactly. So it's like a variable speed. There it goes. There it goes, turn it oh, off. Oh, you heard that? Just when it needs to, it just pops up, boom. That's the variable speed. You can hear it up a little bit, down. Dude, that is crazy. It, it's a, it's that is super cool crazy. I love it, man. I want to look at the camera. You know, I got Travis here right now, but the whole team stepped it up. Thank you guys uh -huh. so much. I love you guys. Boom, all the hard work. It was amazing. Look at this place. I know, it is absolutely amazing. It looks Boom. sharp, it runs quiet. And like I said at the beginning, although we have big five axis machines and the DMU 50 and the NLX and all that, but if one goes down, it's not gonna shut the whole shop down. If this guy goes down, mm -hmm. it's just the whole shop down. And that's why we went after an amazing compressor with amazing airlines, mm -hmm. put amazing people, my team, oh, in charge of it while I was off doing my thing, and you guys came through. So good, so good. If you guys would like some more info on the Quincy compressors or on the AirNet system that we installed, go ahead and check out the link below.